Hello, this video will guide you through your first steps with Octo Browser, how to register and activate an account, purchase a subscription, and configure profile parameters. Octo Browser, account registration and activation. To start working with Octo Browser, you'll need to register and verify an account, choose your subscription, and activate it in the client app. To register an Octo Browser account, visit octobrowser.net and click on Registration. Fill out the form. You'll need an email, password, and Telegram handle if you have one. Provide only the email address that you have access to. If you're unable to send and receive messages using the account that you indicated when registering, many actions with the account will not be available to you. For example, password reset and access to the account. Click on Create Account after you've completed the form. To verify your email and complete account registration, a message will be sent to your email address. Sometimes the message may be delayed because of possible problems with mailing servers or providers. You can expect the message within an hour. If you don't see it, please check spam and other folders. After email verification, download and install the Octo Browser client app and log into it using your email address and password. Congratulations, you have successfully registered and activated your account. To use Octo Browser, you'll need to purchase and activate a subscription. Octo Browser, purchasing and activating a subscription. How do you top up your Octo Browser account balance and activate or renew your subscription? You'll need to choose a subscription and its period of validity when you first launch Octo Browser to start working. After you've selected a subscription, click on Purchase. In the new window, you'll see the automatically generated number of tokens corresponding to the subscription of your choice. Choose the payment method. Currently, we support payment by crypto, Tether TRC20, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, USDT ERC20, Bank Cards, Stripe, the operator takes a 3% commission, and Kiwi. If you pay with crypto, you can use bestchange.com. Be careful when choosing networks and only use classic networks. Don't forget that payment services may take additional commission. You'll need to pay the commission sum together with the subscription payment. After you've selected your payment method, click on Proceed to Payment. You'll see the payment link valid for 60 minutes at the top of the browser. Important! All payments are automatically processed in the browser client. If anyone suggests that you send money directly to a card or a wallet, do not agree to that and do not pay. Use only the link that is created in the client app. Follow the payment link. You'll see a page providing information about the token amount and supported networks. The bottom of the page contains buttons for selection of the crypto you'll use for payment. Choose the desired crypto. You will see the payment link and the exact sum to be paid. Important! Please keep in mind that your payment service might charge commission. Add it to the payment sum, otherwise you risk an incorrect payment, which you will need to solve through our technical support. Complete the payment, wait until it is processed, and after that you will receive a successful subscription activation notification. Congratulations! Your subscription has now been activated. You can now start working with Octo Browser. If you buy a subscription for a longer period, for example, three months, there will be a 10% discount. Choose the validity term. You'll see the automatically calculated subscription price for a month with the discount applied. After choosing the validity term, click on purchase of the selected subscription. The amount of tokens, including the discount, that is necessary to activate the subscription has been automatically calculated in the client app already. After choosing the payment method, click on Proceed to Payment. Follow the link and complete the payment. Wait until the payment is processed. After that, you will receive a successful subscription activation notification. All done! A long-term subscription has been purchased, and you can continue working with Octo Browser. If you already have an active subscription and you would like to renew it with a longer validity period with an automatic discount, go to Settings and choose Billing. Click Prolongate Subscription. Choose the necessary validity period. You will see the necessary amount of tokens to pay. If you don't have enough tokens, top up your balance. Click on the corresponding button. Enter the necessary amount of tokens for balance top up. If you already have some tokens on your balance, you need to add the remaining amount. Wait until the tokens are credited on your balance. 
click on Prolongate Subscription. Select Validity Term and click on Purchase. The subscription validity term has been extended. If you already have an active subscription, but you'd like to switch to a more advanced one before your current subscription expires, go to Billing and click on Upgrade Subscription. In the new window, you will see Available Subscriptions, Automatically Calculated Price for Switching that takes into account how much time you have left on your current one, and also tokens available on your balance. Click Purchase to select a desired subscription. The price in tokens is calculated automatically. Choose your payment method. Click Proceed to Payment. You will see the payment link in the Browser Client app. Follow it and complete the payment. After the tokens are credited to your balance, click on Upgrade Subscription once again, and then click on Purchase for the desired subscription. In the new window, click Pay with Tokens. All done, your subscription has been successfully changed. Important, please note that you can only upgrade an active subscription. Downgrading a subscription is only possible after its expiration. After you have registered and paid for your subscription, you can start working with profiles. You can create a new profile in two ways, by clicking on New Profile or Quick Profile. When you click on Create Profile, you will enter the Settings Editing menu. Here, you can manually select the operating system and set up your profile parameters. The Quick Profile function allows you to randomly generate a profile, choosing the OS or copying a pre-existing template. To create a profile from a template, you need to go to Templates. Click on Create Template. Using the Template menu, you can give your template a name, provide necessary tags, configure proxies, add extensions, select the profile icon for your convenience, and configure other parameters. All these parameters can be added to a template, and it can be used later for profile creation. To create a profile from a template, you need to activate it by clicking on the corresponding toggle. You need to connect a proxy to the created profile. Octo Browser supports all proxy types, SOX5, HTTP, HTTPS, and SSH. To add a proxy to your profile, go to the Profile Settings by clicking on three dots next to the Start button and go to Edit Profile. Go to Connection. To quickly add a proxy to your profile, add it using the format you see on your screen. You can copy this string by pressing Ctrl-C or Command-C for Mac OS. In Connection Settings, click on New. Go to Host and paste the proxy address by pressing Ctrl-V or Command-V for Mac OS. Choose the necessary proxy type. You can also add a proxy to a profile from the profile list by clicking on Direct in the Proxy column. You will see a window where you can repeat these steps and paste the necessary proxy data. Octo Browser allows you to save your proxies in the Proxy Manager and add saved proxies to your profiles in a single click. Go to the Proxies tab in the Client app. Click on the Add Proxy button. You can give a title to your proxy and add all the necessary parameters, then click Confirm. After you've added and saved a proxy, it will become available for adding to a profile in the connection settings. Now you can pick a proxy from your saved proxies list. Profiles have additional settings that you can edit. In the basic settings, you can change the profile name, add a description to it, and add up to 20 pages that will automatically open when you start the profile. Here, you can also set the profile icon from the suggested ones or upload your own, and add profile tags for better navigation. You will find the generated user agent here. We recommend not changing it, as changing user agent might compromise your profile. You can also choose your screen resolution here. It will influence the window size of the profile. By default, the language, time zone, and geolocation are based on the provided IP, but you can also keep your real data or edit those parameters manually. In the Hardware tab, you can select CPU cores, RAM size, and renderer. Here, you can also edit hardware noise, WebGL, Canvas, Audio, and Client Recs. If you turn any of these parameters on, your device hash will be substituted with a unique hash distinct from your device. We recommend you do not change these settings unless strictly necessary. If you do not know yet which parameter configuration you will need for your profiles, we recommend that you leave hardware settings intact. WebGL Noise is turned on by default. You can see connected media devices, cameras, microphones, and speakers. If you need a web camera or a microphone to work with web resources, make sure to set these parameters to 1 so that resources can see them. 
You can import cookies in the Cookies settings in the Profile Editing menu. You can either simply drag and drop a TXT or JSON cookie file from a folder on your device, or paste cookies as text after copying them from a document on your device. The Storages tab manages which profile data is stored. By default, your profiles keep cookies, passwords, extensions, and bookmarks. You can activate the History toggle if you want to keep browser history as well. If you activate local storage, your authorization for some services that use this storage will be kept. Additionally, this is where cached web resources may be stored. In the Extensions section, you can add additional extensions that you need. If you need advice about adding extension correctly, you can watch our tutorial video, Adding Extensions to OctoBrowser, or you can consult our knowledge base following the link in the description. Don't forget to save your changes after changing the settings. After saving, start your profile. You will see the browser window where you can start working. A newly generated fingerprint is always used when you create a quick profile. All quick profiles are perfectly ready for routine tasks, which allow you to automate many processes. For best results, don't create completely identical profiles within the same parameters. Your success with OctoBrowser depends on the way you approach setting up your profiles, the resources you use, proxies and the like, and how you register your accounts. We recommend that you check your profiles and test them using special services. This way, you will be able to compare results and see how profile parameters influence your work efficiency. If you have any questions regarding our Octo Browser or its functionality, please consult our knowledge base on our official website following the link below the video.